Welcome to Take Charters. Today, Stability AI releases its latest Stable Diffusion version 3. And I generated this image with Stable Diffusion 3. It's a big release and you can see it is actually writing the letters perfectly. So these are also generated with Stable Diffusion 3. So I'm going to show you the process to use Stable Diffusion 3 on Windows using Stable Swarm UI. And please remember Stable Swarm UI uh, using Confi UI in the backend. So if I search uh, to the hacking phase, and here if I go to the models, and you can see the Stable Diffusion 3 in the top. If you don't find it here, you can search it on the uh, search bar and you will get the Stable Diffusion 3. And if you go inside the Stable Diffusion 3 and go down, you can see the for local or self-hosted use, we recommend using Confi UI for inference. Okay, so here, there is some uh, options you can run. So one is Confi UI, another is Stable Swarm UI. So you can use any of them. So now I'm going to show you the process to use Stable Swarm UI. Uh, by the way, I tried the Stable Diffusion 3 on Stable Diffusion Web UI, Automatic 11.11, and it was not working. So uh, Confi UI right now is the only way and Stable Swarm UI using Confi UI as a backend. So let's go and install it on Windows. If you go to the Stable Swarm UI link, you will find the installing options for Windows. It's pretty easy. Just you need to download this file and you need to press keep so and keep anyway so it's downloaded here so if i go there i will copy this and paste it to the directory on c and ml i want to like keep everything related stable diffusion and llama inside this directory so i uh, paste it here if you don't uh, want to change the directory you can keep it anywhere if even in the download directory, don't worry about this. I just want to, you know, organize and keep everything in single place. That's why I paste it here and let's run it. And it will open the terminal window and it will do everything for us. It will install everything for us. It will download the microsoft.net sdk so just press ok and it will download and install it for you the installation part is complete so let's close it the installation is complete but i didn't find anything so what i found here it will place a icon so here if it closes without going further try running it again so i'm going to run it again let's see what happened now it is actually uh, downloading everything. You can see the directory is created. So if you find a problem during the first time, if it's not started, please uh, close the that and run it again. Now, when I run it again, it's uh, downloaded the files and everything here inside this directory. You can see everything is downloaded. Now it's uh, it 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 take us to the web UI to install it. The, this is the stable swarm UI installer. So we need to do the rest of the things here. So click agree. I want to use the customization to see what will happen. So I will go with the modern dark. So let's go. And I want to use just yourself with LAN access so that I can use another computer uh, to, you know, log in and check the, use the stable Swarm UI. So click next. And I want to install the Confi UI local. If you want to 
use the existing one you can see this one click on this one and you can later need to you know uh, connect the server but i want to install confui it's not installed in my windows system so i'm going to install it and uh, i will not download any of them because i already have them or i can download them later and put them to the uh, checkpoint directory so let's next if i don't select this it will make my installation quicker uh, so let's go and if you want of course you can select all of them or any of them no problem let's click and yes i'm sure so it will now install everything for us so as you can see i open the terminal because it's uh, it was showing that if i want to see more i can see the terminal and in the terminal it is now installing confui for me so that's great i don't need to do anything it will do everything itself okay so the installation is complete you can see it started and it is showing the error that model not found because i didn't install or download any models so let's go to the let's close it now for now let's close it and close it and start it again now we need to go inside this stable swarm ui and let's launch windows if i double click here it'll launch you can see it started so now from now on i can click here and it'll run so confuy is also started by itself because i choose this one self install so like self start so it when you run this it will actually run the confuy in the back end okay okay so let's go to the hugging face again and let's go to the model and let's go to the stable diffusion 3 now we need to download the model so if you click on the files and versions option you will see the models here you can download by clicking this download button i already downloaded them so let's uh, go there and go to the downloads and here all the three of them are downloaded so i'm going to copy them and paste them to the stable diffusion stable swarm ui and if i go there i will need to find the models here and inside the model there is stable diffusion click here and then paste it that's fine now we need to download we need to go to the text encoders you know stable diffusion 3 is a speciality its speciality is text encoding so let's go to the text encoder and you can download uh, these three or this four if you want this one is smaller version and this is fp16 a larger version you can download either of these or both of these i already downloaded everything so let's go to the let's go to the download folder and here you can see i already downloaded everything here the clip generators clip g and clip l and fp16 fp8 everything is downloaded so let's copy them and paste them here you need to go to the here i need to say one thing for the stable swarm ui you need only the models okay for the encoders you can go to the dl backend and then confi y inside confi y again confi y and you can go to the models and click on the clip and paste it here so it'll be available for the uh, confi y okay so let's minimize it minimize it everything is done so let's go to the files version here and now we'll go to the stable swarm ui and here you can see everything is here so we need to choose the model so for the model click 
on the bottom here you can find the bot models if you click here it should show the models but it's not showing here because we actually just paste it so let's click here it should refresh and it will show all the stable diffusion models you downloaded so for this i want to use the largest one the, that including clips and text fp8 so i will select this one load now so it will load the stable diffusion model and if you see here you can see the stable diffusion models and clips are it will actually downloading clips itself so it is downloading everything required for this model so download is completed so now i think we can generate the image so let's click here and generate and if you'll see here the model is uh, generating image for us and here it is that's great everything is working perfectly and the generation takes only 8.34 seconds that's also great right if i just uh, minimize this model part you can find a lot of other options here you can use them so that uh, you can you know just uh, generate anything you want so that's one thing you can generate everything from here now the second thing i want to show you with this stable swarm ui the confi ui is also installed so if you click on the confi ui workflow you can see the confi ui is here and it is showing the uh model actually the workflow so here everything is here and you can generate a lot of lot of variations here so let's copy and okay so i'm pasting a prompt here let's run it so it is actually using confi ui to generate the image now you can see the image is generated and it's a beautiful picture now if you go to the stable diffusion uh, hugging face base you can go here and you can see there is three workflow you can download them and use them as you wish so you can just uh, need to download them and load them on the confi ui so that you can use them okay the another beautiful thing about this model is if you sorry if you go to the files and versions you can see the sd3 demo prompts so here is some prompts ready for you you can actually copy this prompt and check it if you want you don't need to write any prompt just copy and paste that prompt i will check both so i will paste it here and generate the image let's see you can see the prompt i use is actually the same prompt coming with the stable uh, stable swarm ui so let's let's run another one to check okay so by the way you can use any of this you can use the stable swarm uh, ui or you can go to the confi workflow and run this as you wish so you can see the sd3 medium is written here and that's the specialty for stable diffusion 3 okay so let's go to the generate option uh if i put it one by one resolution let's check this one okay it should be work much more beautifully this model is actually uh prepared for 1024 by 1024 so now it's actually showing the great picture and if you want you can change the seed and run it again 
So let's run it again. So it's working perfectly. So the, uh, hopefully you like this video for the Stable Diffusion 3. You can run it immediately. Now it is available. Uh, the API was available before, but now the local model is available. You can download it and run it with Stable uh, Swarm UI, which is easiest way. Or And the benefit of this uh, Stable Swarm UI is that you can also use Confi UI. Like if I go here and if I want to load a new one, like I downloaded them from the, you know, uh, hugging face. So if I go there and download this uh, model and run this, say let's run this, here is the problem. So we need to actually ch ch change it. So we select the model here because the default model was showing some directory and subdirectory and after that the model, but we paste it directly to the checkpoint. So it's just you need to click here and select the available model and click run prompt and it should generate a beautiful picture for us. See, this is a beautiful picture and if you see this one, it is actually multi-prompt. So here is the background is uh, described here and the portrait main picture is uh, prompted here and it it generate this image, beautiful image. So that's a beautiful image. So Hopefully you can now use Stable Diffusion 3 on your local PC and you can generate beautiful pictures with it. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like this and uh, subscribe to my channel so that I can grow my channel and I can, you know, make more videos like this. Have a good day.